Hello everyone, this is Jack. In this video, I'm covering five sprouts you must grow in your house. Sprouts are super easy to grow. It just takes three days to grow sprouts and they're full of nutrition. I'm just surprised not very many people actually do this. Everybody should be doing this. It's very easy to do. And the only thing that you need to do this is some seeds. And the seeds that I use are these sprout house seeds. These are 100% organic seeds. And I always like to eat organic. I don't want to eat anything that contains chemical fertilizers or pesticides. So I want to eat pure food. And I made a video about five microgreens you must grow in your house using these seeds as well. I'll leave a link to the video in the description if you're interested. And also leave a link to these seeds as well. So without any further ado, let's get started. Number one, mung beans. Mung beans are the easiest of all to sprout. Start with mung bean seeds. Measure quarter cup of mung beans and add them to a container. Add water and soak the beans for 12 hours. After soaking, the beans will expand. Sift out any broken beans and rinse the beans with fresh water. Get a clean mason jar and add soaked mung beans to the mason jar. Take out the inner lid of the mason jar, leaving only the outer part. Take a clean piece of cheesecloth and place the cheesecloth on top of the mason jar. Now screw the outer part of the lid on the jar. The extra cloth around the jar will shield the mung beans from light. Place the jar in an area of the kitchen that does not receive any sun. Rinse the mung beans at least two to three times a day with fresh water. Simply use the fork to strain the mung beans. After two days, the mung beans will start to sprout. After three to four days, the bean sprouts will grow enough to harvest and eat. Number two, reddish sprouts. Start with some reddish seeds. Add seeds to a jar and soak the seeds for 12 to 24 hours. The process is the same. After two days, the sprouts will begin to grow. After another day, which is three days from the start, the sprouts are ready to eat. Open the jar and enjoy beautiful reddish sprouts. Reddish sprouts are spicy and add another dimension of flavor to food. These are secretly used by many renowned chefs. Number 3. Broccoli Sprouts Start with broccoli seeds. Add the seeds to a jar and add water to soak the seeds for 24 hours. After one day, drain the water and repeat the same process. Add cheesecloth to the jar and secure the lid. After two days, the broccoli seeds will sprout. Don't forget to rinse the seeds two times a day and this is true for all sprouts. If your kitchen receives a lot of light, use a paper bag to keep the seeds in dark. After four days, the jar is full of sprouts and ready to harvest. Remove the lid and the cheesecloth and enjoy beautiful broccoli sprouts. Broccoli sprouts are very light and fluffy and add a very fresh flavor to any food of your choice. Number 4. Crimson Clover Start with some clover seeds. Add the seeds to the jar and add water to soak the seeds. The seeds must be soaked for 12 to 24 hours and repeat the same process. After two days, the seeds begin to sprout. After three days, the jar is full of sprouts. Crimson clover are golden, delicious sprouts that do not get as much credit as they deserve. I just find these to be absolutely beautiful. Let me open the jar, remove the cheesecloth and extract the sprouts. Wow, check these out. These are absolutely gorgeous. These sprouts are airy, light and feel like cotton balls or cotton candy. Crimson clover is my top favorite sprout to eat along with the ready sprouts. Number 5. Mustard Sprouts Start with some mustard seeds. Repeat the same process to grow the sprouts. After two days, the sprouts will begin to grow. Mustard also takes a little longer to sprout, so it takes about four days for mustard sprouts to become ready. These sprouts are healthy, nutritious, and the best part of growing these sprouts is that they are super easy to grow. Well, this is how easy it is to grow sprouts. And you can add sprouts to your soups, salads, and sandwiches. I actually like to use radish sprouts in my sandwiches and they're super spicy and they make the sandwich very delicious. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in another video.